In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this VT21 INSPIRED pencil case. If you didn't get that reference, you're only at the very tip of the iceberg of this fandom, my friend. You have not reached BTS trash level yet. Even during the cringiest moments, they're still cute as heck. And here I am just like, ah, dabbing in 2K18, am I cool yet? Rhetorical question. The answer is no, more like never. Stationary DIYs in summer always gave me back to school vibes. Ugh, school more like prison. Can't school curriculum be a little more personal? Like, I'd much rather learn how I can legally obtain money to buy merch. But no! I'm taught how to be a good contributing citizen. How useless. Hopefully this DIY will make your school year somewhat brighter. <laughs> you can only dream. As you can see, I was in dire need of a new pencil case since my previous one was a little wonky donkey. I painted on the design two years ago and let's just say it has seen much better days. Not only is the paint really faded, but there's a rip in the window. It's not like it's a gaping hole or anything. You had one job! Although it has failed me, I'm kind of sad to be throwing away something that I worked really hard on. But whatever. This just means that I can incorporate even more BTS into my life. And who wouldn't want that? Antis, they suck. If you're interested in learning how to make this pencil case, then keep on watching. Materials, a pencil case of your choice, acrylic paint, and paint brushes. Optional materials are a sheet of paper and chalk that is of a contrasting color to the pencil case. Chalk is actually unnecessary, no see why next. Initially, assess the type of material that your pencil case is made out of. For example, this one is similar to that of a canvas. It's made of a rough and textured fabric. For this type of material, it is best to sketch directly on the case with adult pencil. This is the other type of material. It has a more refined and smooth texture. It also has a slight sheen to it, but more importantly, you simply cannot draw on it with a pencil. Unless you are very confident in your freehand drawing skills, I recommend that you make some sort of guideline. And of course, ya girl needs all the help she can get. Even though I have patience, I could wait for an eternity, and my drawing would still look like sh not going to swear here. Keeping it PG, you know? This method is a similar idea to transfer paper, but much cheaper and more effective in this DIY. First, fold a piece of paper in half and cut it so that it's relative to the size of the pencil case and the design. Make sure that the fold is still intact and the paper should open up like a card. This will serve as a general idea as to how big or small the design should be. Then, you want to draw your design on that piece of paper. However, there's no shame in tracing. Mostly speaking on my behalf, if you have a touchscreen device, here's how you can disable that feature so that you can trace your image without it moving around. 1. Click on the menu icon at the bottom left corner of the screen. 2. Type device manager and open it. 3. Find human interface devices. 4. Right click on HID compliant touchscreen and select disable device. When you want to re-enable touchscreen, follow the same steps but select enable device when you right click. I like this BT21 design the most, but feel free to browse the web for anything you want. This DIY is applicable to all fandoms. This next part isn't necessary, but it makes tracing a little easier. After saving the image onto your device, scale it and make it black and white. I personally use PicMonkey. Use tape to secure the paper in place as you trace. Once the design is on paper, turn the card over and begin to fill the backside with chalk. The thicker and more even the chalk layer, the easier it will be to transfer the design. And yes, I am fully aware that the white chalk isn't showing up on paper, but what really matters is what's on the inside. Okay, no, but really, when the chalk transfers, the white will be very apparent amongst the black. That's why I suggested earlier to choose a chalk color that would clearly stand out from the color of the pencil case. Your transfer paper is now complete. Let's proceed to the actual transferring part. Well, more like the big flop of this DIY. 
Place the piece of paper onto the pencil bag with the chalk side facing down. Next, use a dull item such as a THICK ballpoint pen. Please stay far away from anything thinner than 2016 Yoongi legs and outline your design. For the best results, make sure that the nib of the pen is as THICK as Jimin's thighs. Ha! Nothing could ever be as thick as those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> also, apply strong pressure. Build some more muscles! Put all your aggression of not getting BTS tickets into it. But, um, don't tear the paper or stab it fiercely. Again, speaking more on my behalf. Yeah, that turned out perfectly. I learned that this technique only works on certain exteriors, so instead, I decided to try a different method. I continued to apply pressure to the design to get this raised outline. Having a soft surface underneath provides the best results. With a quick run underwater, the case is as good as new. Next, tape down the piece of paper. Apply paint on the elevated parts of the paper and quickly administer pressure onto the case. Work quickly and in small sections so that the paint doesn't dry on the paper before you can transfer it. Also, don't apply too much paint in one area because that can translate as a big blob rather than a line on the case. This process definitely doesn't ensue the cleanest results, but it's honestly much better than painting blindly in my opinion. Yeah, um, this looks pretty nasty, not gonna lie. But with some paint and patience, it'll look much better, I promise. Simply go over the outline to fill in the gaps and clean up the edges with paint that is the same color as the case. When you're satisfied, all that's left is to wait. Fortunately, acrylic paint dries really quickly, especially in thin layers. So, the pencil case should be ready to use in a couple of minutes. However, it's still best to leave it be for a couple of hours. Although I know I should be supporting BTS by buying their merch and stuff, I'm broke as fuck. Still keeping it PG? Just by browsing their online shop, my brain is just like, Girl, what you doing? Do you even have money in your wallet? Heck, I don't even have a wallet. What is this money that you speak of? I do not know. When I set the filter to lowest to highest price, I would already be in debt if I even thought about purchasing the first item. This was a much cheaper alternative. I only spent $1.65, including tax, for this pencil case as I already had all the other supplies on hand. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial was helpful in fulfilling your K-pop trash desires. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a DIY suggestion? Comment down below. I'm always open to new ideas. Business in the front, K-pop trash in the back.